hello guys today i am going to show that how to do the boolean of a hollow object in the space claim for this we will make a cube of dimension 50 millimeter in length 50 millimeter in width and 50 millimeter in thickness and inside the cube at a distance of 10 millimeter from the front plane we will make a hollow cylinder of diameter 20 millimeter and length 30 millimeter with a wall thickness of 2 millimeter so now I already have started the axis prevent and I am going to initiate the geometry and now I am going to start the space claim. So I will make a cube with a, a width of 50 millimeter, length of 50 millimeter. Now I will extrude this plane up to 50 millimeter. So now what we have to do, we have to make a cylinder. So basically this cylinder will be inside the cube at a 10 millimeter distance from the front plane. So it is 10 millimeter. So now on this plane I am going to make a cylinder of diameter 20 millimeter and again I will extrude it up to 30 millimeter Now in order to see the better view, I am going to enable the wireframe option here. Now here you can see that there is a cylinder inside this cube. So right now this cylinder is solid. Our target is to make this cylinder hollow. and the thickness of cylinder wall should be 2 millimeter so on the plane i am going to draw a circle of uh, diameter 18 mm and i will cut the material to 20 mm so here you can see that one side is closed but the front side is not closed so now what we have to do we have to also close the front section so again we will draw a circle of diameter 80 millimeter after that I will uh, move this circle to 2 millimeter inside and after that I will extrude this portion to 2 millimeter Now you can see that here we have successfully made the hollow cylinder. Now our target is to do the boolean. This is our hollow cylinder. 
and this is the object solid object that is basically the cube now to do the boolean go to the combine option click over this icon and click over this icon after that just remove this inside portion also remove this portion just delete it now here you can see that now this is our cube and this is hollow cylinder now I am going to a meshing section And in meshing section, we will try to see the interface between the hollow cylinder and solid cube. We will take the physical preference as CFD. Now let us go to the connection. Now here you can see that we have successfully created the contact between the hollow cylinder and solid cube. So this is basically the contact body view and this is the target body view. So basically this kind of creation of contact is important when we do the conjugate heat transfer now let us do the meshing so here I am not worried about the good quality of mesh my target is to only show that how basically the hollow cylinder will look like so I am going to hide this Q part so this is basically now the meshing of cylinder what I will do I will cut this cylinder now guys you can see that here our cylinder is hollow and meshing has been done on the wall of this hollow cylinder only so inside portion is vacant thank you for watching the video